this is fine. Uh, this is a very, very, very quick discussion piece about everybody's favorite, the old uh, point and shoots. This one is actually quite broken. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, if you've been following my channel for any significant period of time, you know how I feel about them. I think they're fine, uh, but I don't really like the market. There you go, it's much, much better. I don't like the current marketplace for them. And I was just talking to my buddy, uh, shout out Gage, always good hearing from you. Just talking with him about stuff and it just reinvigorated this passion of, of displeasure I have with the people that sell point and shoots. So I wanted to quickly make a PSA. Don't buy them, just don't buy them. Literally do not buy them. Instead of me saying, don't buy them, buy like a Spotmatic or buy an Emmy Super or buy a Rebel XS or something like, buy one of these alternatives that's like, it's an SLR so there's still functionality but it might be a little bit more expensive. However, what I'll say, is by <laughs> one of these. Uh, this is the Kodak M35. There's also the Ilford one that's like the same deal. I think Rico has one that's very similar. It's these like reusable disposable cameras. This is garbage, okay? <laughs> but this is also garbage, obviously. This just does not work. A lot of these do not work. The electronics on these are super old. They're very fallible. Um, they are plastic, so you can see here this is just broken. I have literally a whole drawer full of things that just have random issues about them. This one, the take-up spool, the motor for it is broken, it does not work anymore. Um, this one, the contacts I believe are bad. This one, um, yeah, I mean this, like, let's be honest, this was never really gonna be all that much to write home about. And then this one, which just does this. And regardless of whether or not it has power, the lens does not move. And overall, it is just kind of garbage. So, all of those and so many more, but I think you catch the drift of point and shoots don't work, and now I know what you're saying. Well, I bought one off of Depop, or I bought one off of eBay, and they said that it was film tested, or they said it was function tested, and like, oh, well, it should work fine. They don't know that, okay? Let me, like, pull back the curtain here. Unwrap the sausage a bit for you. They don't know what they're talking about. I'll be honest, most of the time, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've got speculative ideas. I have a really good understanding of a lot of these principles, because, as you can tell, I'm in the thick of it most of the time. This is something I'm like fairly knowledgeable in, but even then, I don't know everything. I don't know why those point and shoots aren't working. What I do know, though, is the electronics are really complicated, and they're really not even worth spending the time and energy to try and fix them, because at the end of the day, they weren't meant to last. Neither is this. However, this is like 40 bucks brand stinking new. Now, this is also garbage, but it is working garbage, and all you need is a AAA battery. I got these from the Dollar Tree too, so it's even more cheap. It feels like absolute garbage. It looks like it, it looks like a toy, to be completely honest. It looks like a McDonald's toy. It feels like a toy. The overall functions of the camera are not great, um, but. If you're just looking for a simple, easy way to shoot 35mm film, get one of these. Don't waste your time or your money getting an old point and shoot because at the end of the day, even something like this, my beloved, my dearest, oh man, this makes me so sad, Konica A4. This is like the, the cream of the crop. This is the... Yeah, the first and the last point and shoot that I will ever truly love. Uh, it's dead, okay? It will never work again unless I spend a lot of time and money trying to fix it, which I might do at some point just because I really do love the form factor of this camera. I think it's perfect for me, but regardless, even something like this, which is a bit higher end, like getting a working A4 or a working big mini, those are pretty pricey, but they still fail. And there's, as far as I know, not anyone out there who can reliably repair these. And even if they do, they're going to charge you a lot more than they're worth. 
So if you're buying one online from someone who says it's refurbished, they don't know what they're talking about. I hate to break it to you, but they don't. There's somebody that likely found the camera online or on eBay or you know at a Goodwill or a thrift store and it's like, oh, I can probably sell this for more. And they can because the market is there. So more power to them. But in the same vein, they're lying. They don't, they've not repaired it. They maybe cleaned it. Maybe they shot a roll of film through it, but they probably didn't because that costs money and they're just trying to make money, which is fine. But I don't know, I just, I don't like the idea of exploiting people that don't really know better, if that makes sense. Um, and if it's somebody who's trying to get into film, I just think that that's running a system that was built 30 years ago that wasn't meant to last 30 years is not the best way to get into it. Something like this is gonna cost you a lot less money. It's not as much fun to use, but the images are still gonna come out relatively okay. You're not gonna be dumping a bunch of money into garbage that you may or may not work. And at the end of the day, you have more money to buy something nicer afterwards if this is something you choose to continue to pursue as opposed to, oh, I just spent $140 on something, it died mid-roll, and now I'm out 140 bucks, I'm out a roll of film, and I don't wanna shoot this anymore. It just bothers me so much that there's people that are, like, are willing to put their profit margins above the desire to cultivate a better community of people that are just trying to create things. So, all that to be said, I'm not perfect, okay? So I don't mean to come across as like some white knight trying to save everybody. Like I've goofed up plenty of times. I've not been able to fix stuff. I thought I fixed stuff, I've sent it out, it's not worked, I've had to get it back and fix it again. Like these things happen. So I'm not trying to like be on a high horse here. I just think that the the reason I will never sell point and shoots, uh, especially for the exorbitant price at which people sell them, is because Asking that kind of price for something that I cannot guarantee will work for a consistent period of time is something that I cannot morally do. Um, so that's, that's it pretty much. Uh, this just is based off my experience with point and shoots. I've had too many of them die and I just, I don't want to put that on someone else to have to deal with. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that you find this enjoyable. I will say that shooting with this is also not a great experience either. Um, in terms of would I rather shoot with this or like an A1 or something like that, I'd definitely pick the A1 hands down. But in terms of entry level, if I just had something like this, well shoot, I even started out with something kind of similar to this. It was the first like 35 millimeter camera I got was a plastic point and shoot. And it had a panoramic function and it was fine. It, like it worked perfectly fine. The images that came out were okay and you know, moved on from there, but it's a good entry point. It cost me like five bucks. So something like this, something if you can find like a really cheap, no nonsense, just plastic thing, go for it. But if you want my opinion, I would start off with like a little SLR, something a little bit more inexpensive that you can really trust and rely upon. This is just a very inexpensive means of entry. Don't buy a point and shoot, that's all. And if you do, um, more power to you, really. Uh, it's just, don't spend like 200 bucks on it because they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I just, I have had this thought on my mind. I just got this, so I wanted to make a quick video to talk about that. Uh, but anyway, that I think that'll do it for now. I don't wanna harp on the point too much. I think you catch my drift, so. Appreciate you watching. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you agree or disagree. Would love to hear from you. Some feedback is always appreciated. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.